referencing the cost of living crisis, Laura Pidcock hit out at unadulterated, unaccountable wealth, privilege, power and exploitation. Writing on Twitter, the former MP for Northwest Durham said, I just feel like there is a real grossness to the state-driven Jubilee celebration fanfare. People are skint. Getting so much more skint full of worry we are supposed to go out celebrate 70 years of unadulterated, unaccountable wealth, privilege, power exploitation. Nah. Many people on Twitter agreed with Ms. Pidcock, with one, Epidemiology 76, writing, id describe it as obscene. The Queen could have done the decent thing months ago and said cancel all celebrations and take the money that would have been spent and spread it across her most vulnerable subjects to help them but know it's all about them. Another, Bev Fazakali wrote, Laura totally with you on this. She is the richest person in the world, owns a huge amount of land in GB. What the royals bring in as a draw of tourists does not touch the wealth they have amassed. But others hit back at her comment, with some reminding her that nobody is forcing her to celebrate the event. Annie wrote, if you don't want to celebrate this event then don't. Nobody is forcing you to. Remember though, there are many people who would like to celebrate this occasion. Maria Clara Ibarra Widelos Santos described Ms. Pidcock's comment as a strange take, writing, even people from all over the world are coming in to celebrate bringing in business after a long COVID lockdown and many businesses going under. I'd have thought this would be a welcome thing to Brits. Strange take there, Ms. Pidcock. Angela agreed, writing, I completely disagree. The money would not have been given to the people that need it. As a nation we should celebrate our Queen and what she has done for us. I think people forget the amount of money the royal family bring into this country.